So here are 12 major upgrades coming to the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra and I guarantee you the last upgrade will blow your mind. So first up the models, there will be a standard Galaxy Watch 7 and a new Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra, but there won't be any Pro or Classic models like before, which is very interesting. As for overall design, we'd expect the Galaxy Watch 7 to retain its flat, machine cut look, like the standard Galaxy Watch 6, and the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra will have a rotating bezel, three side buttons, Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra will ship in three main colors, which are titanium gray, titanium white, and titanium silver. Generally, titanium is considered lighter than stainless steel which would make the watch 7 ultra lighter than what many people think after samsung shrunk the galaxy watch 6 display border compared to the galaxy watch 5 to maximize the display size we doubt it can find room to make the galaxy watch 7 display any bigger without making the watch itself overly heavy in other words you can expect a 1.3 inch or a 1.5 inch amoled display plus a digital bezel along the edge for sliding through menus samsung doubled the watch 6 display brightness to 2000 nits so far We expect the Galaxy Watch 7 to match the standard. In theory, the Galaxy Watch Ultra could hit up to a whopping 3000 nits to match the Apple Watch Ultra 2, but current leaks make no mention of this. We also expect the same protective standard on the Watch 7 as previous generations, one of the standards being IP68 dust and water resistance. According to the Galaxy On X, the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Watch series could feature a new Exynos SoC that promises 50% better efficiency and 30% faster performance, while initial reports hinted at this chip being called the Exynos W940. A recent report from Sam Insider points toward the W1000 designation instead. This really aligns with Samsung's recent trend of simplifying the naming schemes for its flagship mobile CPUs as well. The Watch 7 series will retain the same Bluetooth 5.3 technology as the Galaxy Watch 6, so nothing really different in terms of connectivity. What is different is the storage. A report from Sam Mobile suggests that Samsung could also increase the internal storage of the watch. The Galaxy Watch 6 series has 16 GB internal storage, while the Galaxy Watch 7 series could double it to 32 GB, along with 2 GB of RAM, which is a very good improvement. Leaked specs show the 40mm Watch 7 with a 300 mAh battery compared to the 425 mAh sell for the 44mm version. The Watch Ultra should get an even larger 590mAh battery. Details of how many hours of battery life have not yet been revealed, though we have seen claims that the Ultra will offer up to 100 hours of battery life on a charge. The Galaxy Watch 7 will launch with One UI Watch 6 before receiving the full Wear OS 5 update later this fall and will most likely have the new AI features that we haven't seen before. As for prices, the Galaxy Watch Ultra should be a premium wearable and we expect Samsung to price it accordingly. The Ultra has been tipped to cost around a whopping $700, which puts it $100 less than the starting price for the Apple Watch Ultra 2, but far more than what you pay for a standard Galaxy Watch. The original Galaxy Watch cost $329, but last year's Galaxy Watch 6 dropped the starting price to $229 for the smaller Bluetooth-only version, but we should expect the Watch 7 to be priced the same as the Watch 6. Since this year's unpacked event is on July 10, we expect the Galaxy Watch 7 to ship anywhere from mid-July to early August, which is much earlier compared to its predecessor. So here's the major upgrade. Like the Galaxy Watch 6, the Watch 7 should have the same bioactive sensor for heart rate ECG and body composition readings, along with the return of blood oxygen and temperature readings for sleep tracking. The FDA approved Samsung's sleep apnea detection earlier this year, so we expect that as well. And in non-US territories, you will be able to measure blood pressure. Although we have heard rumors about blood glucose monitoring on the Watch 7, the technology probably won't be ready for consumer products. Let me know down in the comments if you are willing to pre-order the Galaxy Watch 7 or the Watch 7 Ultra, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. The Apple Watch 10 will come with several big upgrades. To know these big upgrades, click here and I will hopefully see you there. Peace out.